The Isimba hydropower project under the construction by the China International Water and Electric Corporation is now at 75% physical completion rate. The chief executive director, engineer Harrison Mutikanga, says the construction of Isimba will reduce the cost of electricity. It will increase access and it will also translate into probably a reduced cost in the tariff of power because the cost of uh, the cost of generation of the power generated here will be at uh, US 5 cents so at the moment 99% of the concrete works civil works have been completed and electromechanical equipment which is the turbine and generator installation that is ongoing so the, at the moment the powerhouse works are on time and on schedule. The River Nile, whose waters will be used to generate 183 megawatts, has now been diverted back to its natural path. For us to be able to build the dam, as it were, we had to divert the water back to its original pathway. And this is exactly what we did, and that's why we call it second stage river diversion. We have in four turbines, four turbines, uh, each will have uh, an output of uh, 45, about 45 megawatts. At least 460 million US dollars has been invested in the Isimba hydropower project. In 2015 they kicked off and they hope by 2018 in August they will have completed the project. You have the turbine there, part of the turbine. And then over here you have the unit one stator. And then over there, not completely finished yet but uh, it's going to be inserted there so the all the uh, generation units will be installed here on the pit land disputes continue to delay transmission lines meant to distribute power and insufficient funds have slowed the process of UEGCL acquiring a new supervising contractor there there are a few people that are still to be compensated on the transmission line where this power will be evacuated up to the Bujagali substation. Andrew Anitwe, NTV, Kayunga District.